Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the product of software of Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've been using this software for almost two years now and I've decided to actually make a review about it and talk about how great it is when I actually create my own videos using this product is. So using Adobe Premiere Pro as my editing software, I've been using it for two years and if you guys have seen my previous videos on my Star Wars games and everything else that I've created, I've used Adobe Premiere Pro. So today I'm going to actually show you guys how I edit my videos and it's going to be a, the, the beginner's guide. I'm not going to do anything special and just what it looks like to actually make a video using Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you guys are interested, the cost is yearly $240 to license it. So you don't really own the software you basically rent it by a monthly subscription or you can buy a yearly subscription and I buy it with a yearly subscription of $240 a year and I'm pretty satisfied with this product and I would recommend it for anyone that wants to edit videos to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's start off with the simple uh, stuff and let's throw in some videos that I want to edit. So you go with the file, you go to import and they can choose which videos you want. So I go to my Star Wars videos and then to select all of them, you can hold control and they can select all of them. I'll, I'll get the first two and I'll hit open and then it'll be thrown right here to the bottom left. So I took my Darth Maul videos and then we can now drag and throw them into the timeline. So I just dragged the first one and threw it into the timeline. And as you guys can see, now it appears right here in the timeline and the video up here, you can see exactly by moving the timeline marker and you can see exactly what it's supposed to look like. As you guys can tell, Darth Maul is right here. It's a mod where we actually get to use the lightsaber and use it to fight. Again, I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro for almost two years and I totally recommend it to anyone. But if you guys have a software that you guys use, please leave a comment down below and tell me what do you guys like about it. And if you guys use Adobe Premiere Pro or have used it, tell me what do you guys think about Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, we're going to move on and now show you guys what editing looks like. Now, let's say if you don't like the sound and you want to change out the sound for something else, you can easily unlink it and move the sound away drag it away, move it back, or even delete it by hitting the delete key on your keyboard. Now the sound is gone. Why the footage stays and remains with no sound. Now, if you want your sound back, you can easily go to edit and undo and undo again, and then undo again. And then the sound is back. Now, Let's say you want to put them all the way back together how, how it was originally. So you go undo one more time and then basically undo one more time. Or you can just simply link them back together by holding shift and selecting both parts and then they are back together. Now, if you want to put the second part, you got to do the same thing. You drag it over. And it's simple. Now, there's a lot of things you can do with Adobe Premiere Pro, but I'm going to only show you the basics and the simple, the simple stuff that you guys want to do and the beginner's guide. All right. So let's say you want to cut a cut around and, you know, get some parts out of the video, which is all right. So all you got to do is go over, go over here, move the marker to the place you want to delete or basically cut up. And let's say you want to cut up this part. Then you click on the line. And then let's say you want to cut up this part. Then you go back to the normal mouse and then you can delete that part. And then you can move it together. And then that part will basically be gone. And if you want to bring it back, you just go to the edit undo as always. And it's pretty simple. So looking at adobe premiere pro this is one of the most simplest ways to actually edit your videos i know this is the beginner's guide but i actually love this program and 
will continue paying for it until I, until I don't feel like it. If you just want to let it run and see what it looks like, you can do this as well. So you can see on top right. Also, uh, when it comes to what you want it to look like when you're about to render it, you can go to File, then drag all the way down here to Export, and then you go to Media. Now, you're going to have some options to choose from what you want it to look like when you're exporting it. Now, you can make it 2160p 4K, 1080p HD, 720, 480, 480p, it doesn't really matter, it goes lower. And you can even do it with high quality, you, can, you have so many choices to pick from. I usually go with the 1080, or if I feel like the video deserves to be 4K, you can go with 4K. 4K videos are usually around a large amount of space, so like right now it's over 5 gigabytes. And if you want 1080p, it'll fall down to 2 gigabytes. So depending on your upload speed and stuff like that that you want to upload to your YouTube videos, uh, your videos onto YouTube, you know, that will also affect it. I think I only have a few videos that are at 4K. Most of them are at 1080p. It's pretty simple. And when you're looking at the format, you usually go for H.264. And then when you're done, you basically decide to queue up, which will open up a second program. Adobe Media Encoder. And all you got to really do is hit the play button and it will render the video and what you want to do with it. So it's pretty simple. I actually enjoy this program so much and I've been using it for two years and I'm, I'm looking forward to see what you guys have to say in the comments. Do you guys like Adobe Premiere Pro or do you guys do something else? I totally enjoy using Adobe Premiere Pro and I feel like anyone that edits videos would find this really interesting and one program to use. Okay guys, I will end the video here. If you guys want to know more about Adobe Premiere Pro, please hit a comment down below and I can actually make more videos talking about it.